Hello, and in this video I will start creating the graphical user interface for the for the calculator. So we start a new project from here and we choose choose a um, MFC application and here is the location where the project will go, the folder and let's name it calculator because um, this name is gonna go to many places in a project so I think it's good good to have the name as it will be as as the as the calculator uh, the same name as the calculator will be we call it calculator so we're gonna say okay next and here we choose dialog based application and then uh, as it says that specifies uh, can be used to size the window we don't want to resize the window so we tick out this one so the uh, so the dialog box box is not resizable then next uh, just one thing we want to minimize box here so one more time minimize box we want to minimize box I guess so right but not maximize box we don't want that so next and uh, finish and there we go and now we just go straight to the resource view to just to create this dialog box how it looks first and uh, so it's going to be the resource where if you can't find it from here you can always go here and find all these tabs from here so there's a resource view here and, and the other ones as well so let's just take first this text out so delete just delete and also these buttons we don't need them so select and delete delete and let's just make the size of the window nice something like this and now <coughs> the idea of the is correct it's calculator dialog this is ok so let's just now add buttons here so toolbox and just drag one button to here let's make the size like maybe 40 40 times 40 40 times 40 something like this because we can make it a little bit like that okay and a good way to do this is that we can just ah uh, sorry first is name the ID of this let's make this call let's call it button underscore one actually zero uh, MFC will automatically increase this number nicely if we just copy and paste these buttons which we're gonna do now so we start zero starts from here then just select and copy and c control C and then control V so we get oops we get uh, number one goes here yeah zero one and then paste again this will be number two goes here yeah number three number four five six seven eight nine the reason why I put them like this because in the in the in the real calculator we have also the same way zero one two, so we have it exactly like here. So now, next thing to do is that we roughly roughly gonna put them in a place, like we want them to be. Something like this, <coughs> and then we gonna just fine tune this uh, from the from the edit bar here after we put them roughly first like this would be like that and now we can select the top line and go here and adjust according to the first button from here doing doing the same here and here like that and then we're gonna adjust oops let's adjust next according to to the first button the left hand according to the left hand side the same thing here left hand side the same thing here left hand side 
right now. What else we need to do? We need to... I think we already did both sides. Both sides did we? We, we did. So the only thing we need to now do is that we need to make the space equal, okay? Because the because there's a the space is not equal with this. So to do that, let's just select all of them, and it will be one of these across. I think it's this across. Yes. So the same thing for this one, across. Yes. Next one, across. And then we need to do another way around. We need to do down. Yeah. Down. Yeah. And down. Yeah. If I did everything correctly, it should be now fine. Uh, this guy is not correct. So this one needs to be finished and then um, just gonna put roughly like this. The last one. Now it looks like it's uh, even spaced. Okay. So next thing we can do, we can change the name of the, I mean, the, I mean uh, sorry, the caption of the buttons. So this would be zero. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And let me just double check that. ID, yeah, ID is number five, and this will be also five. They, they, they need to, need, they need to match really. So, they, 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 they need to match, match definitely. So, but I think they are correct. So this is gonna be eight. This is nine. That's it. Okay. Now we have all of these. Now we need. Um, so buttons are here. So now we need. Um, uh, we need some buttons here, more buttons. We need like, let's save it for now. No, save all. We need buttons here like, um, I'm gonna now, now follow, because I've done this already. I have the, as I showed in the last video, I have already done all of this. So I'm gonna just now check how I did this in my, applic in the application which is ready. Okay, so we now we need the buttons for the, uh, all of these buttons. So it's gonna be, division multiply okay so let's start creating those so we need the button to divide the division and then multiplication then we need a button for what was that again minus plus and one more one more uh, equals and then I think we need one more to the C button to clear clear the content, something like this. So this was called that's divide. So I'll put here divide. And then here we cannot say um how did I call this? Oh we're not looking looking to weather. Uh, how did I call that? Just checking what name I used. Yes, okay, I'm using here uh, divide. So this button is called divide. This button is called multiply. Yeah, just you can just type here multiply like this. And um, just make it, yeah, like that. And um, just need to put here, put X here. This is gonna be, it's gonna be plus, I think so. Minus plus. So minus. Gonna put minus here. Then where is the plus? Plus is here. This is gonna be plus. Uh, 
equals this is gonna be the C button which is kind of how do other I call I, 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 I just call it C so let's put C here copy capital C I guess so um, like that right now everything seems all right plus multiply okay divide. yeah everything is fine now I just quickly quickly make them look make them look nice nice kind of bit up then according to the top this one and this one according to the bottom okay and now I'm gonna just oops make these ones even according to the down so now they should be alright with this and I just do manually these these ones roughly and this one <coughs> sorry manually looks pretty pretty okay so now we have all the buttons here and save all aha one thing is missing well a couple of things are missing here um, first of all you can move them a little bit left I just with the arrow arrow key I'm moving them moving them maybe like this and uh, like that and um, right what we need to do is one thing we need to do is that we need to we need to make this a little bit bigger obviously like that and I need to move all these buttons a little bit down actually why? because we're gonna put here the, the output window so that's gonna be a edit box edit control from here let's put it here make it big, as big as possible kind of something like this and how did I call this in my code? it's called um, I think it's called output, is it? Call this. How did I call this? How did I call this button? I think I call it id result. Result. Just gonna double check it. I have it here. Properties. Yeah, edit, edit result. So I call it edit result <coughs> this one I'm gonna put the same uh, ID here so just edit result here and um, the, 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 the style the style we want is that I think it we want read only here like that, yeah. So we can only we can't we can't type there. It's only read only. We can't change the value. Obviously, we don't want it to be changed. I uh, will move them a little bit up. These things, so like that. Okay. And now, uh, one more thing is that we want the info window to see the history. I mean the history um, edit box here, like I've done here. So I'm gonna put another another box there. Um, edit control. like this uh, I will go and check what kind of um, value what kind of um, how did I do this I put it multi-line so it needs to be multi-line first of all multi-line true and then um, It needs to be multi-line, and what else it needs? It needs to be. I put it here, so I can see see what I did here. Multi-line. Okay, so it needs this uh, horizontal scroll bar. 
so sorry we don't need the horizontal we don't want horizontal we want we want but we want the vertical scroll bar so this one true and um so this um border border true false okay we want the word vertical scroll bar so this one we will set it through as you can see already there is a there is this scroll bar there and um i hope everything is now fine it might be so i just have to change the id of this control let's change it to history i mean let's call it history this one okay edit history it will contain the history of the whatever we type type here I'll just save all of them and if we compile it now and run it from here start without debugging compiling compiling and there we have this thing here um, one more thing we want here probably is that we want the top order it means that when you press like um, th the top order is uh, I'll show it now so as you can see th this is first selected so if I, if I press this is the top order so in which order it goes to all the buttons but it is actually pretty all right now yeah o the only thing we want that we don't want this um, this to be first first one. Oh, one more thing here is that um, I need to put here the static text here just to tell that this is the history history um, history history box so we're gonna take a static control here I'm gonna put here and I will just type here history uh, here history, okay like that and now let's change the top order a little bit <coughs> we don't want this one to be first selected let's put it for example to this box so it, because it looks a little bit funny if the zero is uh, kind of selected when we run this program so we go here and it's somewhere here yeah here's the top order so format top order and as you can see this is what we get so we want actually this one to be first and it automatically i think changed everything else nicely we don't really need it that's as you can see to and now if we compile and run now uh, as you can see the focus is here and then if we go double letters they go pretty nicely pretty nicely oh it jumps it <laughs> jumps over there let's change that one that was not a good one um, top order so this 17 so 13 um, how can we change this gonna, do we need to tick all of them I guess 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 okay now it goes correct okay now it's correct correct <coughs> okay <coughs> sorry sorry okay <coughs> no sorry throw this a little bit in a bad shape but okay so uh, so this one uh, ends this video and in the next video I will start adding functionality for all of them all of them we need to create the variables for all of these and um, then create even handle even handlers to all of them so that when when we click one of these we will go to a certain function and we can do some action related to that that button okay thank you for watching